Boy, well, I talked to someone, so and they said it was good, and they tried, and it might be all right, you need to try. No, I'm not gonna waste my money on something that might work. No, I am confident I use this. My mama used this, my grandmama used it, added five years to her life. I promise you, this is a product you need. If you have confidence in it, have facts and understanding of why you have confidence in your product, because if you are uncomfortable with you, so will everybody else. And I would tell anybody, if you are an entrepreneur, I, I, I understand that you know we have a thing that we want to do. We don't know you. We don't know your product. I'll, I don't care how real we say we are. Everybody's prejudiced. Everybody, you got on a dirty t-shirt to my own set of washing powder. <laughs> I don't want to know your washing powder. It ain't even in your shirt. So, uh, so, 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 Russell Simmons, they got it right. They got the best models they can find, they got the best shape for it, and they model their product to the point that people will say, what must I do to look like that? What must I do to have what you have? If you can't afford a model, baby, you your model. If you can't afford a celebrity to speak for your product, you your own celebrity. Have your commercial down pat, memorize and Why should I get this product? I am telling you that there's an opportunity for you to get this. And if you get this, here's what it has done for others. Here's what it has done for me. You have to be ready to tell your story. I, Einstein said something so powerful. If you cannot explain it simply, you don't know it well enough. It shouldn't take you an hour to explain why your product is good. You should maybe have two or three sentences that you can say in an elevator that leave them thinking about you. If you haven't done it yet, if you can't explain it simply, if you don't know your product enough, then you might be in trouble. You got to be able to say it. I don't care how you feel. You got to be able to say it with excitement when it needs to be said because that might be the customer to tell 100 people about you that change the whole direction of your business and your company. The biggest obstacle to great service is arrogance. When you know you got a good product. Look, you're going to get it or not. That's, that doesn't sell product. I don't care how great your product is, you still got to be humble. I need you as a customer. Yeah, I know this is a good product. This is a great thing. But man, I need you. You could be the customer that changes this whole thing around. I have to make myself smaller to make yourself bigger because it is not about my ego. It is about my business. And I'm trying to push this thing forward. So I got to become small so the business can become bigger than me. Everything can't be, you know, Terrell Munger's t-shirt. Man, I don't want to wear somebody's name on my t-shirt. Can I forget about you for a minute so I can see your product? Why, why do you have to promote yourself or Above your product. Arrogance is the biggest obstacle to good customer service. When you go into uh, uh, Chick fil A, they don't say their name first. By the way, I love, you know, I love Chick fil A. Because when, they, when I place my order and I say thank you, what they say? My pleasure. Woo! <laughs> I 